firstly it's thrilling to see all of you wearing your proud jerseys in different colors and being here i think i'm thrilled because of two reasons uh, one is of course uh, zulochi has made me into a racing enthusiast and seeing all of you uh, i think we are all in the same category and uh, secondly i am a strong advocate of clean energy so uh, all these things uh, combined makes this a perfect event for me to host and uh, we are equally excited about uh, all of you being here it's time that we all embrace electronic vehicles so my own vehicle is a electronic vehicle and and also it is government's commitment that 30% of the car sales in india uh, would be electronic vehicles in the year by the year 2030 today we have inaugurated the india's first solar car rally this event we have begun in 2013 and the event were conducting in the closed loop circuit but this time what is new the new is we are conducting this rally at the taj express bay every year we used to add up new rounds and the clauses to make event more challenging and successful this year we came up with electric solar vehicle championship 3000 This rally will create an impact on seven crore plus people, because lots of people having the fear of ado adopting the EV, and this kind of rally will aware the people. EV are safe and user friendly. They are easy to drive and cost very economic. So these these kind of rally will give a message to the society to adopt EV, and that will ultimately help to reduce the pollution. Our team Solarium from Pimpri Chinchwad College of Engineering, Pune, Maharashtra. So we design and manufacture solar electric vehicle, and uh, we are manufacturing since 2016. We participated in ESVC Engineering uh, Track events this season as ESVC 3000 uh, is arranging a rally event, which is uh, which is a new opportunity for our team to upgrade our vehicle from. Uh, track events to the rally event so uh, we take a challenge to upgrade our uh, show our capabilities that we can design and manufacture the vehicle according to the rally uh, in uh, every team there is uh, 10 to 25 members are there they they are from different branches of engineering like mechanical automobile electrical electronics and some of the members from the software side so these are the combination of multidisciplinary students they come together and innovate these kind of vehicles our entire organizing team working day and night to formulate the rule book and what are the problem that we will be facing when we are organizing the event on the roads of uttar pradesh after so many brainstorming we have compared the condition of the australia and india we came up with the solution and now we are organizing the final rally on the roads of uttar pradesh here we have 30 plus vehicles those are designed and manufactured by the engineering graduates they came from 18 states of india and uh, through this event we are create an impact in terms of upskilling as well as ready engineers for the industries we are from uh, team solarians we are basically from vnr vjt hyderabad 
So this is the first time we are participating in the event uh, as a team. Uh, we are making an uh, adventure class vehicle. Our uh, vehicle we are using a 3 kilowatt motor for, and a 62 uh, AH battery. Our speciality is that uh, we learned this from scratch. So it's all a team effort that we put it from our scratch. We learned from the we learned from other teams. We got the information from them, and that's what makes us special because it's the first time we are participating. We came till here. So teams, what they have made in one year will be scrutinized by the inspectors at the event venue in which inspectors will scrutinize the vehicle which is made as per the rules circulated among the teams. Technical inspection is the round which is in which vehicle will be inspected in depth so that no safety lag should be there when taking the vehicle on the road. So there are a set of rules which are provided by the ISI India. Those rules are given to the students way before on basis of which the cars are made. And as a jury member we check that, that those all the rules are covered, are taken care by the students. And then mainly we guide the students that why say some cars are not having those things done or those rules are not followed. So we guide them over here that those things should be done and uh, why it is necessary and all. The teams have cleared the TI, so they are coming for the brake test. So brake test is a safety round. So we check that all the cars are having the brakes and uh, then only they will be allowed for the dynamic rounds. Because earlier if we do not test the brake test and then on the dynamic rounds the brakes are not applied then it is a safety hazard. So first we are checking that cars are running and they are stopping at the minimum distance required in the rule book. Teams have to go through various rounds like acceleration test, off-road test, cross-pad test. These rounds were conducted to check the performance of the vehicle before taking it to the final rally. Finally, the day has arrived. Today we are conducting India's very first solar vehicle car rally on Yumna Expressway. We are starting here from Greater Noida and this kind of rally is unique and first time in India to create an awareness among the people to adopt the EV as well as road safety. So here you can see there are number of cars along with the team vehicles and escort vehicles and these vehicles came from across the India made by the students of engineering colleges and through these vehicles we are going to impact on 7 crore plus people of India to adopt EV and road safety awareness. I am Ninath Patil from Team Solarium. I am the captain and the driver of Team Solarium. So we have been preparing for this competition for the past two years. Uh, one of the biggest events, first of a kind happening in India, an on-road rally race for solar electric vehicle. So we faced quite many challenges for manufacturing of this vehicle as well as design. Because we don't have to drive the vehicle on battery or uh, IC engine. It is purely based on solar electric.
My name is Nitesh Pramod Sawan. I'm from Team VCD Solikthon. I co-founded this team in 2017. It's been five years since then. We have won three championships and this is the fourth attempt to win the fourth one. So basically we were planning for ESCC 3000 since the last two years and this is our attempt to accomplish our dream which we everyone dreamt of and few of the past members who graduated recently. And we have tried to build a very streamlined body to have a minimum air drag and have a dome as well, so of similar kind. As a team to come for the final round, teams have to went through various rounds and they have to start the preparation for the event at least one year before the final round. We have circulated the rule book among all the teams and they have to follow all the safety requirements that is compulsory to run the vehicle on the road. To make this event happening in India, there is lots of support required from Government of Uttar Pradesh, Ministry of Road and Transport, JP Highways. And we have got all this with the help of Kalbutia University. You can see the enthusiasm of the teams, the energy they are having. Now the time has come to start the rally. This is like dream come true for all the organizers, juries and the participants. This is first time happening on the road of Uttar Pradesh, the one and only Yamuna Expressway. The rally has been organized in such a way that it will be escorted by the local police, JP, safety vehicle, ambulance, fire brigade and the vehicle of the organizers. In the rally, each solar car will be accompanied by two vehicles, one in front and second in the rear. All the safety instruction has been given to all the safety car passengers. We do conduct various captain's briefing, driver's briefing before all the dynamic rounds that we are organizing under the event. This is an achievement for all of us that this rally is happening on the widest road of Uttar Pradesh that is Yamuna Expressway. We have seen several challenges. Some of the vehicles got stuck in between and that is being towed by the towing vehicle. Students have worked day and night to get their vehicle on road. It's not like Taking the vehicle on road only, it's the hard work and the dedication of each and every team member they have given to their vehicle and these students are the future of India. They have achieved in their college life which an industry used to take lots of time to take the vehicle on the road. So this is the first time where the Electric Solar Vehicle Championship Rally 3000 is happening on the public transport road where we, we have got the team from uh, top institutes and universities across India. So from all 12 teams we got selected 6 teams for this rally and uh, now we have covered the distance, half distance till Jaiwar. Now we are at the checkpoint over Jaiwar and here uh, we have checked the, all the vehicles, now we are travelling back to Galgotia's universities from here. Uh, till the time, there were six vehicles. Now two vehicles got failure in between due to some mechanical and electrical reasons. Now we are moving ahead back to the Galgotia's university and uh, we'll have the final ceremony at the Galgotia's university.
We are really thankful to all our sponsors to make this rally a grand success. So after the success of this event, we would like to expand our journey throughout the India as the name suggests ESVC 3000. We would like to cover 3000 km through this solar car rally in upcoming years.